Question, if as you age, you need more protein, how do we choose the proper protein to get the correct amino acids? This is such, I love this question because the answer is so simple. The answer is any animal source, full stop. If a person is relying for the bulk or all of their proteins to come from animal source proteins, any animal source, they can be extremely confident that they're getting every single amino acid they need in a very optimal mix. Also, they're getting it with a little bit of fat or a lot of fat, and fat helps the body digest protein better. That is such an important point, particularly with aging where we have this anabolic resistance. I'm going to do a metabolic classroom on that coming up. So with metabolic, with this anabolic resistance where we need, we don't build muscle protein as well as we used to, we need to make sure that we're not only getting the right mix of amino acids, again, animal source proteins gives that, but we want to do anything we can to enhance its function and fat does that too. So we want to, so that's the nice thing about animal source proteins is that not only does it have the right mix of amino acids, it's also coming with a little fat, which facilitates the digestion of the protein. Now, is that to say that there is no room for plant protein? No, I'm not saying that. While I have no qualms saying very boldly that animal protein is superior, plant protein can work if we eat it the way our ancestors would have eaten it or other ancient cultures, whether they're your direct ancestors or not, which was fermentation. If a plant protein has been fermented, you have removed some of the more offensive agents within that plant protein that accidentally get concentrated. Not only the heavy metals, which if you actually do a survey as has been done by nonprofit organizations of all available protein supplements and measure the amount of heavy metals in them, plant proteins are just through the roof um, because plants will naturally enrich themselves with certain minerals from the ground. Now, if you're getting a little bit of peas, if you have one serving of little green peas on your plate, the amount of heavy metals you get from that is so irrelevant that to be not worried about, but so too is the amount of protein you'd be getting from those peas because plants are so deficient in protein. However, if you want to get your a pea protein, now you need to concentrate a thousand peas, for example, in order to get enough protein in order to get a serving of protein. In that same process, you have accidentally brought in things you don't want, like heavy metals and anti-nutrients. And that's sort of back to what I started with here. There are actual honest to goodness molecules that prevent your body from digesting those proteins. So not only are you getting like tannins and phytic acids, um, oxalates, uh, these are all molecules that inhibit the body's ability to digest and absorb various molecules, including the very amino acids we want to be getting from that plant protein. However, fermentation removes much of that. And our ancestors have known this. Um, you look across cultures, like like uh, um, tofu. Tofu is a fermented soy, and so there's some value to that because you have removed some of the harmful molecules that would have been native to the plant if the plant were attempted to be consumed in its natural state. So once again, another reason that I'm such an advocate of fermentation, particularly when we appreciate just in view of this particular topic, the removal of various molecules that can then enhance the availability of the amino acids. So if the plant protein has undergone some degree of fermentation, then it's going to have a much, much better availability of the protein. It's just not common. Now, I'm not, I, I don't want you to think I'm a, I'm a grifter. The, the health code company that my brothers and I started that I'm no longer a part of, so I get no, um, I, I literally get no benefit in stating this. Um, the reason that plant-based shake is a fermented plant-based protein was for this very reason. 